Hey guys, Citizen Zero here, bringing you some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So, I'm going to do a quick video on a sort of a tutorial on the ship combat. So how many people were confused or they didn't know exactly how the ship combat worked. Uh, so, a couple things, first of all, that you really need to know before uh, going into combat is you kind of need to know your ship. Uh, I would say the most important thing is to really know your guns, especially understanding the range. Uh, so if you look, I've got these Iron Thunderers equipped. Uh, I haven't had a lot of money to upgrade the ship itself, so I'm still using my original ship, the Defiant. Uh, there are a number of ships that you can uh, purchase that are bigger. They have different number of crew and thing like that. things like that. Uh, you can upgrade your helm, your armor, or your hull your sails. I did pick up an extra, a different sail from one of the combat uh, ships that I've taken. When you when you beat somebody, you get their uh, their flag or their colors here, and that is what you'll use uh, to turn in bounties or proof that you've killed those certain people for bounties. You can equip different colors, so if you uh, don't want to be attacked by a certain faction, uh, you can fly uh, the different colors and it will uh, sort of keep that faction from attacking you or if you know you're in a particular place that has some difficult ships the, that you can't really quite take at the moment you can you can equip these uh, but like I said the the most important thing for that um, that combat is understanding your your range on your cannons uh, as well as the amount of time it takes to reload all right so this is at a 200 to 500 meter range so that's about how far I want to keep the ship away when I'm attacking all right so we're gonna we're gonna try to attack these guys they won't run away from me here attack if I can attack these merchants not gonna let me attack them. Alright, let me find somebody to attack here. And I'll show you. Now typically I uh, I just like to here's a no it's another just there we go. So uh, I typically like to actually just close the distance and do the the standard style uh, boarding where you're you're using your party to attack. Uh, so if you do that you just close the board um, you'll take some damage. Hopefully your ship will be able to take it, your sails, your hull, and your crew. You will end up with some injuries probably on this, which is why if you saw on my ship there was a number of my members who were injured. It reduces morale over time, which, which kind of sucks. You can do uh, the, the distance combat using your cannon. So this guy's got 60 hull and 20 uh, sails. Uh, only 5 crew, so it actually shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so we'll enter sea combat here, and it's going to go round by round, turn by turn. So on this turn, I get to start, and I get to make my move. And right now I'm at 227 meters, which is actually perfect because my cannon's range is from 200 to 500 meters. So what I want to do um, is I want to turn. So I'm going to either turn to port or starboard, um, and after you fire your... Uh, after you fire your cannons, you're going to want to turn to the other side so you can fire your other cannons. Now, different ships have different uh, turning speeds. This ship, the one you start with, the Defiant, uh, is a fairly quick ship, so it only takes one turn to uh, turn left or right or to jibe. And that information can also be found on your ship's information. Um, some ships, the larger ones especially, take a lot longer than that. Um, some of them take two turns or even three turns to jibe. A jibe is where it'll make it sort of a U-turn. Uh, the position right now, so right now I am lined up uh, straight onto the ship and what I want to do is I want to line this up to where the ship is either on my uh, my starboard side or my port side here. So we're gonna make a turn to starboard. Right, so now I t made a right turn so the ship is on my left, which means my next turn I should be able to fire my cannons on that side. 
assuming he doesn't move into range or out of range of me. So he's making a turn. He's trying to book it out of there. We're going to fire our port cannons. And I have a hundred cannonballs and it's going to cost two because on my port side I only have two cannons and they are in fairly good condition at the moment. Um, the the cannoneers that I have, oh he's injured, um, he's got good range and he's a seasoned, uh, so yeah, that's good. He's got pretty good range as well, but he's novice. But we'll fire. We're going to use just plain cannonballs um, and fire away. Alright, so we hit them for 7 and 6 damage, so that was pretty good. 13 damage off for that first round. We'll continue. This. Now it's their turn to make a move. And they're just holding position which means they are now positioning themselves to probably take some shots back at me. So we are going to make a full turn. So this is going to turn us completely around to where my starboard side guns are now on that ship. And they just fired two shots five and five so at this rate I'm going to beat them but I'm gonna take a beating doing it alright so again we're going to fire our cannons uh, and again not as good on this side I don't know why we're at 68 percent oh because the jibe so um, because I just made a move um, so that that jibe, that U-turn move that I made is going to reduce the accuracy, so there's not a great chance, actually, that that will, um, that will hit. I could probably wait. Wow, it looks like they don't even have starboard cannons, so they're going to have to wait a while before they can even fire at me. Um, what I actually might do is to increase my accuracy is hold position here. So I made a jibe that I'm going to hold just to boost my accuracy. They're going to try to make a turn. And it looks like they're moving to run. And we're going to take a shot. Now we have pretty high chance to hit them. 100% or 93%. 9 damage to hull. And damage their crew so now they've only got three out of eleven so that was a big hit alright so they are gonna make a turn again which I'm not sure why they're making a turn on me because they didn't have cannons on that side of their ship I don't think didn't seem like they had cannons anyways but boy he's got a lot of jobs surgeon cook deckhand you do everything huh so they've only got three guys well two of their guys are injured uh, their two cannoneers are injured which is not good all right so I am still reloading uh, so I'm gonna try to make another Yui So they're changing their guys out in their station, and probably the reason they're doing that is because, uh, yeah, see, their guys were injured, and so what they've done is they've moved those guys into resting so they can start to heal, uh, where they now have fresh guys on the cannons. Uh, probably a pretty smart move, because that's going to really reduce their accuracy uh, whenever they have injured guys on the cannons. I... I'm probably going to rest one more time um, 
because, yeah, I just did that jibe move, and my accuracy is pretty low. Now, if you're in a mission, or in a in a sea battle where you start out, I've started out at some where we're six or seven hundred meters away at the beginning of the uh, of the battle, and you have to you have to close the distance quite a bit uh, before you get in. This one I just happened to start off right within my cannon's range, uh, but that's why it's really important to know your cannon's range uh, before you uh, before you start that. Uh, otherwise, um, you won't you won't really know when to fire, you're firing at the wrong time, they might close the distance too close and it's going to be um, actually not a good thing. Although you can change from cannonballs to chain shot, grape shot, uh, so what these different uh, ones do, chain shot is usually good for damaging sails, uh, if you want to damage sails instead of hull, cannonballs are good for uh, damaging hull, grape shot is usually good for damaging crew. Uh, so depending on what it is you're trying to to take out uh, So right now, let's see I could change it to grape shot uh, See it's targeting the above deck crew uh, low chance of damaging the sail chain shot is good at damaging sails and has a low chance of dealing crew damage cannonball is kind of your average it mostly does hull damage but also does sail damage or some below deck crew damage uh, which they've got a couple below deck at the moment. Uh, they have two on deck. Uh, but I'm going to keep going with cannonballs. I'm going to keep trying to just sink that ship there. Uh, I've got 38 hull points left. And we're doing about 13 per turn, it looks like. So I've got another... Ooh, that was a 15. So I've got about two more turns uh, before I actually end up sinking this merchant vessel. Uh... Now, merchant vessels are just, they're not going to, I mean, they'll probably have some some money and a little bit of loot, but uh, they're not going to be good for a bounty. Um, ooh, they're firing back. Ooh. Usually the ones that are named and have uh, a flag or colors like this are the ones that you're going to see that uh, you can hunt down for bounties. Uh, and those are really going to be the ones you're going to be after. Uh, they come in a, a range of dif difficulty. Some of them are really strong. Um, even some of the ones I've fought so far, and they are not even close to some of the highest level ones in the game. Uh, so you can get to a, a pretty large amount there. Anyways, that's pretty much all the tips and tricks uh, I have here. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish out the video watching uh, the battle. Uh, but there's not much more I have to say as far as uh, any advice on how to do this. Uh, I know some people were a bit confused. Anyways, if this video helped you out, guys, uh, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching, and take it easy.